drawing today. Okay, so we have our handouts. Remember, these are will be linked. We do have an option today. We are gonna add faces if you want to, but there is a coloring sheet um, without faces, or you can stop at this point if you don't want to have the cute little faces. So, so we're drawing desserts. We're, yes, some frozen desserts. Since the weather is warming up, you may want to enjoy one of these frozen desserts. Ice cream popsicle or another fat popsicle. Yes, and I just noticed that yeah. make sure you have your paper horizontal, not vertical. Make sure it is horizontal. Um, we just practiced our little drawing and we noticed because some of these shapes may be smaller that we're gonna have to go with a skinnier tip. So I'm actually gonna go with a skinnier Crayola because I'm gonna be using markers today. Um, Auburn Scott's uh, alcohol ink one. So we're going to get started. Now, we are gonna start with our cherry. So you don't wanna put the cherry too far over because you do have the two ice cream scoops and it needs to be closer to the top. So a circle with a line and a little dot. Oh, this is much skinnier. But yeah, a pencil would work good. But you'll have to retrace it with a bigger marker. Okay, so the middle, um, shape is going to go right there making sure we leave enough space and i did notice be careful you don't draw it too skinny because then it'll be hard to fit the face in so i'm going to start near the top of the cherry you're going to come down across back up but don't connect it quite yet so get your long part of a rectangle and then at the top you're actually going to curve the top like a popsicle And then the third shape, we're going to be doing a bigger popsicle. So it is a rounded beep, beep, beep. rectangle. So every time I hit a curve, I'm actually going to round Why's that going to dry out? the curve. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna start back with the cherry. We're gonna do two ice cream scoops. Um, they're just kind of blobs. So start on the left side of your cherry and you're gonna come curve out, curve in a little bit, curve out a little bit. Then it's gonna be wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Then you're gonna go back in and back curve around, kind of making sure it does it stop and two start and one ice cream. on the other side. Then we're gonna go down and do the same thing under it, starting under it. Curve out, in a little bit, out, then up and down, up and down. Don't make your ice cream cone too big. I mean, your um, second ice cream too big. So now we're gonna add the cone and the sticks. So the cone has two parts. We're not doing a waffle cone, we're doing the, I don't know what you call the other cone. So it's gonna come down, across I guess it's and back up like making sure it does start in from the ice cream and then you're gonna come in from this shape make it a little bit longer down across and curve yeah the bottom's somewhat of a curve yes like a little tiny curve. okay popsicle stick so coming out the bottom nice. make sure two straight lines and then you curve the bottom this one we're gonna do a little fatter since this is a big popsicle. Two straight lines and curve the bottom. Okay, going down our skinny popsicle, I'm just gonna make curved lines. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom because the face will be here. Now this one, um, it has two indentions. Now, Auburn did it one way when we practiced where her indentions went all the way down and she included the eyes inside of it or as you come down across and back up you do want to leave a little space at the bottom for the little face the markers running out okay so you can stop here and then go ahead and color it or you can go along with us and we're going to add thanks the faces onto it first first face i did two curved lines and then eyelashes coming off the top with the circle cheek and a circle cheek and then a little tiny smile 
And then right below it, I did, instead of the closed eye, we did a dot and a dot. For this, I need a black. I did mine. And then a little eyebrow. You gotta be careful with those eyebrows. As, as we've realized, if you make the eyebrows too um, curved or anything, they can look like a mad ice cream. And then two circles for the cheek again. He's like, what are we doing? I guess this you is always add eyelashes good. if you want. See, look, that makes happier. Okay, for the skinny one, I did the um, same kind of curved eye. You can do that in a minute. But the eyelashes were on the outside. This time I did a circle nose. A circle nose? Mm hmm. A little half smile. And then I did some freckles. I'm not going to do a circle nose because it kind of looks so weird. Well, you, you don't have much room as I do. Now on the stick, we gave it some um, three-dimensional. So on the left side, I came over a little bit and added a next line and curved it into the bottom. I didn't do it on both. I can hardly see my mind. It's okay, just on one. Again, that's why the skinny marker helps to do that little detail. Again, um, you could always add your face inside the intentions. Remember, you do a big circle and then a little circle and then you color in around the little circle. How is this side card I don't know, it's like they're... Like I do mine cry. different. What is yours looking at? Seriously, what is yours looking at? Well, it's not the dot. It's more like a... I think I was supposed to do it on the both sides. He looks a little cross-eyed. And then I did another circle cheek. How is it a he cheek. if you add eyelashes? He, she. And mine's going to be a key. And then again, that little addition to the stick. Now, if you want to add another face, Auburn, I know she wanted to go back on her cone. She added a cute little winky face. Um, squinty. Oh, I'm sorry, squinty face. So feel free to add any of those. I'm actually going to leave mine plain. So we'll meet you back here. We're going to get our color supplies and we'll be adding some color. Okay, we are back with our supplies. Auburn, give me a rundown. What you doing? What colors are we using? I got a light peach. Is that for like vanilla? A kind of dark peach, a light blue, dark purple, like pink, kind of dark blue, dark blue, and teal. Okay, and if you didn't notice, um, I did link Amazon supplies. These are art sticks. Um, so they've been linked and alcohol ink. Both not very expensive, um, more expensive than your Crayola, but I've got my um, watercolors here, or my temper paints. 